So we've got a new part file. We know we're in millimeters. So let's make our very first shape right here, which is going to be our square. Now moving around in Inventor can be a little bit tricky. I highly, 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 highly recommend using a mouse. It does not have to be anything fancy. As long as it has a left click button, a right click button, a scroll wheel, then you're good. If you're trying to do this all in the trackpad, you're just going to get frustrated. So I highly, highly recommend using a mouse. All right. When I hit start sketch for the first time, because again, what you have to do is sketch, make a 2D sketch, and then bring that into 3D. So when I hit start sketch for the first time, very first time, it's going to bring up this shape right here. These are my planes. This is my X, Y, and Z axis right in the middle. And then where those axes come together are your planes. So just like in math class, if I looked at it just like this, I would have your Y axis and your X axis. And then that square around it is your X, Y plane. Right. Well, now once you bring it into 3D, you now have an X, Y, and a Z axis because you're coming out into three dimensions. So the very first time you hit that sketch button to create a new sketch, it's going to say, where do you want to draw? I don't know. So we're just going to pick one of these axes. Um, let's say we're looking down on the cube, so let's click this XZ plane right here. You can see you can click on any of them. Let's just click that one. This little cube up here, you see it rotated a little bit, so we're looking down directly at our object. So it's like I'm just looking straight down at this dice right here. This right here is my origin, my X and Y, or X and Z axes. This point right here, that's your origin, that's your 0, 0 in math or in this case it's 0, 0, 0 because you have X, Y, Z. So let's make our square. Let's make our 16 by 16 millimeter square. So up here we just have some standard drawing buttons. I'm just going to go through these real quick, just kind of show you what they do. Don't do this yet. Um, line. It draws a line. You know, I can draw a couple of lines here, I can connect them, make a shape. Pretty cool. Circle. Click once, move, click twice. Cool. An arc. An arc is just a rounded shape, it's part of a circle. Click once, click twice, click a third time. Rectangle. Click in the top left corner, click again in the bottom right corner. All right, so those are just shapes, all right? We've, we've seen shapes before. You'll notice also there's this little down arrow right here. If you click that down arrow, that means that there's more options. So a spline is like a curve. If I could do the circle, circle, circle tangent, ellipse, the arc, three point tangent, and center point, and the rectangle, a whole bunch of stuff. You know, do a rectangle at an angle, rectangle with the center point, slot, and a whole bunch of things right here. So again, we're just looking at just the tools right here. And let me undo all of these. So Control Z, as in zebra. You're just like every other program. Control Z is undo. All right. So back here. Start a sketch. Pick my top plane. Sometimes when you click on it you'll see how this top kind of flipped sideways. Right here, this is my view cube. This is what I'm looking at. If I click that, I can rotate that around so it's upright. I can look at different sides of this. I'll show you that more in a second once we have something to actually look at. But let's make our square. So we're going to make our 16 by 16 cube. So first thing is, let's make a rectangle. Now I have my origin point right here. We can use that to our advantage. If I, I can just come over here and I can just draw a 16 by 16 rectangle out in the middle of nowhere, but it's always a good habit to use the origin, to use those axes to your advantage. So what I could do is I could click and I could make a 
16 by 16 rectangle with one corner being the origin. But since this is a cube, there's a lot of symmetry to it. Let's make the origin right in the very, very, very center of that cube. So what we're going to do is our rectangle tool. We're going to drop this down and we are going to pick rectangle two point center. So what that means is when I'm drawing my rectangle, my first click is the very center of my rectangle. I move my mouse and my second click is the corner. So first click is the center, second click is the corner and that sets up my rectangle. But I want it in the center right over here and I want to make sure it is 16 by 16. So I'm going to undo that. All right. So I got my center point rectangle. I'm going to click on the origin. You see how when my mouse gets close, it turns green. A little circle. That means there's something important right there. So I'm going to click. I'm going to move my mouse. So when I move around, see, click that center point. You'll notice on the screen there, the number is highlighted in blue. You've got a two text box right there. Uh, you can type whatever you want into there. We want it to be 16, so I'm going to type in 16. Now when I get to that other box, I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard. Go over there. That other one's highlighted in blue. I'm going to hit 16, and I'm going to hit enter. Now, it's pretty small. What will happen sometimes is you'll be making something so small that you just won't even see it. So it'll be like out like that. What you can do is zoom in. So this is where the mouse is very, very handy. So I'm going to pull up a little mouse right here. So I'm going to use my scroll wheel. So if I zoom in, I can use my scroll wheel to zoom in, to zoom out. I'm zoomed out way too far. If I'm completely lost, let's take a look at some of these tools right here. If I'm completely lost, don't know where my stuff is, if I hit zoom all and I click on that, what it's going to do is it's going to take whatever is around and it's going to fill the screen with that. So if you're completely lost, hit that zoom all and it's going to bring that all to your screen. So looking again at some of our stuff here. My mouse, if I click my let's see here. My left mouse button, my regular mouse button. This is how you can highlight things. So if I wanted to highlight this, just click and drag a box. If I click on the top and go down into the right, anything that's in completely in that box will get selected. If I start in the bottom and go up into the left, you see that box is a little bit different. Anything that's touching that box will be selected my right mouse button. When I click my right mouse button, it brings up a little menu. So some of these are just little shortcuts to things. It's useful sometimes. But the very, very useful tool is the scroll wheel. So I can zoom in, I can zoom out. If I click it like a button, if I press my scroll wheel like a button, I have what's called panning. So to pan is just to kind of grab it and drag it around. If you don't have a mouse, this little hand right here does the same thing. Click it, and I can click and drag it around. All right, so that's panning. Zooming in and out. If I go to my keyboard and I press Shift on my keyboard, and I use my center mouse button, now I can what's called orbit. I bring it around into three dimensions, so I can move it all around. If you don't have a mouse, right here's your orbit tool. Click on it. You can kind of drag it around right here. But you're going to be doing panning. So panning, dragging it around, and orbiting. Hold shift and use the scroll wheel as a button. You're going to be using those so much that you really need a mouse. All right. If I want to go back to my top view to make it look nice and pretty, if I hit this top view right here, that'll bring it right there. If I want to rotate around, and start looking at this from different sides. Look at it from the bottom. Rotate it. 
So this is like my little view cube right here. It sort of looks at it in different ways right here. All right. So I made a 16 by 16 square. I've centered it on my origin. Now let's make it a cube. So like I mentioned, we start out in two dimensions. We draw our flat two-dimensional shape. In this case, it's a square. And then we're going to bring it into three dimensions. So I told you you kind of go left to right on the toolbar up here. So we hit Start Sketch. We drew. You go all the way over here to Finish Sketch. OK. So this just kind of zoomed out. If I look over here on the left, I see, hey, there's a sketch. I've got a sketch right here. This is Sketch 1. Now what I want to do is bring it into three dimensions. You'll also notice when I hit finish sketch, my tools bar up here is all different now. I'm no longer in the sketch because it knows I want to do something with 3D. So now I have these 3D tools. Again, a lot of tools. Most of what we will use is all kind of right here. If you're ever not sure what a tool does, if I just take my mouse, put it over there and let go, it'll make a little pop up. It'll show me that's extrude. You see a little E right there. That means E is the shortcut. If I go to my keyboard and I press E, that'll do extrude. Creates a feature or body by adding depth to a profile. So what that means is it makes it 3D. So extrude is the button that you're going to use most often to pull things out or push things in. So we're going to go ahead and click extrude. Now it wants to know what do you want to extrude? Because we only have one square on there, it figures, hey, you probably want to do that one square right there. So I see this little arrow right here. I can click, I can drag this, I can pull it up, I can push it down. And I also see right here exactly how far I'm going. I can also see that right here. So wherever there's a text box, I can type in stuff. I know I want this to be 16 millimeters. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to type in 1.6. And I can see that this went up 16 millimeters. I have some different options. I can go up, I can go down, I can do what's called symmetric. That's the one we're going to use right now, in which case half of it goes up, half of it goes down. And if for some reason I wanted it to go, let's say like 10 up one way and 6 down the other way, I could do that. I don't know why I would want to do that, but for right now I'm going to do symmetric and I'm going to do 16. So what this is doing is it's keeping my origin in the very, very center of this cube. So now when I hit OK, I've got a cube. So again, on my scroll wheel, my scroll button, if I press it like a button, I can drag it around. That's panning. I can hold Shift on my keyboard and drag it around. And that's orbiting. So look at that. We've got a cube. Fantastic. Let's move on from there and make this cube look beautiful.